Today we're going to go through the steps of setting up an automatic out of the office reply or vacation reply for Microsoft Outlook 2007. Now if you're using an Exchange server you won't have to do this method. Microsoft gives you a nice out of office assistant. But for Pop, IMAP, and Hotmail you're going to have to do this. You can also find step-by-step -step instructions in the video description. Okay, first thing you want to do is create a new mail message and you just type in the message body what you want your reply to be. This is your template. So this is the message that anyone's going to receive if they send you a message. Once you get your message all set up the way you want it, you want to hit the office button, select save as, and then you want to select Outlook template and put the file wherever you want to put it on your hard drive and name it appropriately. After that, you can exit out of the message. You don't have to save it. Next you want to go to tools, rules and alerts, click on new rule, and then check messages when they arrive hit next. Here you got a list of different options. You can um, pick and choose whichever ones you want, but mainly you can just put the check by where my name is in the to or CC box. Hit next. Alright, at this screen Outlook's wanting to know what do you want me to do with the message when I get it. So you want to reply using a specific template. That's the one we just created. So you click on there and you just find it in your wherever you saved it at. Click OK. There it is. And then hit Next. And here's some exceptions. You can add to it if you want to. Otherwise, just hit Next. And then you can specify a name for this rule. I'm using Out of Office Reply. You can run the rule for the messages already in the inbox or leave the checkbox for Turn On This Rule. When you're ready to turn it off, you just come right back into Rules and simply uncheck the box. And now you're done, you want to click on Finish, Apply, and OK. A couple of obvious things I want to mention in order for this to work. One, you got to have the computer on, of course. And two, you need to have Microsoft Outlook running and just minimize it to your taskbar. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and hope it helps you. Thanks for watching.